Hey guys, it's Chuck. Um, okay, do a little video today uh, from the great beach of Gulf Shores where it's a little overcast, a little cloudy today. They're uh, talking about some rain and some uh, tornadoes possibly here. So, uh, you know, great Alabama weather means that, uh, you know, if you don't like the weather in 15 minutes, you can change it. Anyway, uh, going to talk about the keto diet, the ketogenic diet, what it means. Uh, what does it mean to be in ketosis? What are ketones? Things like that. How can it benefit you? Uh, first of all, the ketogenic diet is uh, where basically you eat um, high protein or mid to high protein, depending. There's various ways of doing it. Um, high fats. And uh, believe it or not, guys, fats are, that's not what makes you fat. What makes you fat is carbohydrates. Your carbs is what your body uses as fuel. Once it gets enough for fuel, it dumps them into your fat cells. And basically, it works off of your insulin levels, your insulin spikes. Carbs causes your insulin to spike, and when that happens, then, you know, it stores it as fat. So if you take that away, then, uh, you know, you're, you're closer to, to getting your, your body goals, your, your body fat goals. So uh, what you want to do, first and foremost, if you're not tracking your macros, such as your carbs, your fats, um, your protein, stuff like that, then you're never going to succeed. I mean, just bottom line. And so there's a, a little app. It's free to download. It's called My Fitness Pal. My Fitness Pal. You need to download that into your smartphone, on your laptop. Uh, you can get a computer version, I think. So you just Google it. And uh, there, there's a lot of other ones out there, but that is by far the best. And, you know, let me, a, a quick note, let me just say that what you want to do is don't wait till after you eat something to put it into your fitness pal. You want to put it into your fitness pal first. And then if you decide it's got too many carbs for the day, it's got, uh, you know, too little uh, protein or fats. To, to fit your micro needs, then you just delete it. So you can set it up for breakfast, mid-morning, lunch, mid-afternoon, uh, dinner, uh, snacks, your exercise is in there where it, it goes into your net calories in and out, uh, tracks your calories. So uh, really good app. You, you've got to have that. And it's got a barcode scanner where you can just, whatever food that you, you know, you're thinking about eating, you just hit the barcode and all of that information is pulled up for you. So it's really great. Uh, second thing you need to do is uh, you really need to go through your cabinets in your kitchen and, uh, you know, take out anything that's sugary, that's sweet, that's, that's not, uh, not going to be beneficial to you and to your goals, to reach your goals. Um, Get a big garbage bag, put them in there, carry them and dump them in there. Matter of fact, if you got kids like I do, that they'll run out there and grab candy bars back out of the garbage and eat them. I mean, they're they're serious about it. Uh, take it to the dump, you know. Put it in the truck of your car, take it off, get rid of it. Don't buy any more. Buy good food, and uh, if you can get food that's not processed, even better. But uh, you want to uh, you want to eat a lot of meat, uh, salmon, fish, cod. Um, you know, stay away from tilapia because it's just really not not a, a good fish. Um, steak, red meat is really good. Uh, chicken, of course. You know, we eat a ton of chicken, and I prep meal. My wife and I prep meal, which means we've got a bunch of these little containers. It's got lids and kind of like Tupperware in a way, and uh, you know, you keep a bunch of those in the cabinet. You on a Sunday afternoon, you can throw some stuff on the barbecue grill. You can throw some some meat in a slow cooker, uh, which is an excellent way because you just set it, walk away from it, come back later. Uh, you, you can have some carbs after you work out. If you go to the gym and you work out hard, I mean, well, you can't carry on a conversation. Then you know, as soon as you leave the gym, don't wait an hour, two hours. As soon as you eat, leave the gym. You can have some carbs, and you want to weigh this thing. Get you a scale, a digital scale. You can buy them at Walmart for, you know, 10, 20 bucks. They're they're inexpensive, and you can Google how to use it, how to do the tear, uh, so that you you put a dish on there that's empty, tear it where it goes to zero, 
put your food on there, uh, research, and it's easy research, guys. It's not like it's, it's something that's going to consume your whole day and be hard, you know, work. It's, it's not uh, how many grams is in an ounce, uh, you know, things of that nature. Uh, stay away from sugary sodas. Th those things are loaded up with carbs. And so you, uh, you set your goals, and uh, you, can, uh, you can set your goals to where you, like my goals, for example, is 215 grams of protein. It's uh, 189 grams of fats and 10% of, uh, of carbs, which is about 15 carbs a day. Now, all of my meals throughout the day, I've got to stay within those guidelines. Less is better. And like yesterday, I think I had three carbs for the whole day. So you can't do it. It, it, it. Everything's got carbs in it today in today's world. And, you know, it's processed heavily. It's got uh, GMOs. It's got all this crap that you don't need. But if you, uh, if you shop right and you look and you, you, you get, you, you'll start learning and before long guys it's on autopilot well you just you can look at a food and you can tell okay so once you get to that point then it becomes a lifestyle change it's not just a diet you you maintain your weight you maintain your body fat and you know you want to stay for guys somewhere if you if you want to have that beach body you know uh, physique and you work out at the gym then you know you want to stay somewhere between five and ten percent body fat for for women uh, a little bit more because uh, just of the way your your chemistry and your needs for, for the female body is, you, you might want to stay a little above that unless you're competing on stage or something like that. And then once you get off stage, you know, that body fat has got to go up a little bit because you just can't maintain it. Uh, but, but you can maintain a, a, a good, decent uh, weight. And uh, so anyway, weigh your food out, put it on your plate, stick it in the microwave if it's a prep meal. If not, cook everything. The way to get good fats, guys, everything in coconut oil. You want to get the virgin coconut oil. You can buy it cheap, like huge containers at Walmart for 10 bucks, and just a spoonful. And you want to add that into your micros in your fitness pal, too. So make sure that you do that. You know, just a, a tablespoonful. Uh, that's going to give you a lot of your good fats. That's the way you get your fats. Olive oil is another good. Of course, you know, you don't want to eat a lot of olive oil. It just don't have a great taste. But take a cap full and put it on your salad if you do salads. Things of that nature. Cook it in, in your food. Uh, we use coconut oil in everything. The taste is amazing. You can put some seasoning in. But remember, make sure you scan the barcode on your seasonings and add your seasonings to your meals. Because believe it or not, that can make a difference. But uh, anyway, once you do all of that, you get them all done, you know, you cut them up in bite-sized pieces like chicken breast and, you know, steak and stuff like that. Put them in a pan, put a, a tablespoon of uh, coconut oil or what have you in there. Flaxseed oil is good. Uh, put it in there, cook it up, put it in your Tupperware, put you some vegetables in there, weigh your vegetables. Some people say it doesn't matter about your vegetables to weigh them. But, you know, hey, if you're going to do it for one thing, do it for everything, and that way it just becomes part of what you do. And uh, it, it, it's very short time to do this, to prepare, so you can do that, and you can have the whole week's worth of meals done and uh, in your refrigerator in Rubbermaid's ready to take out pop in the microwave. And if you're like me, I eat five to six meals a day. Right now, uh, I have eat as much as eight meals a day when I was bulking. Uh, but uh, I lost 14 pounds in less than two weeks. 14 pounds in less than two weeks. A lot of that was, was pure body weight, and uh, body fat, and uh, of course some water weight. Now make sure you drink a lot of water and you want sodium. Sodium is a key for the keto diet because you can get dehydrated. Uh, you want to make sure that you get those fluids in there, you know, get your electrolytes because your electrolytes is going to come into play when you start doing the keto diet. You want to keep those electrolytes up. You can't do Gatorade because it's got a lot of carbs in it, but you can do the, uh, what is it, the Powerade Zero, Gatorade Zero, whatever it is. You can do that. Uh, my wife and I choose to just do water with some a little squirt of some, some fat-free, uh, has no calories flavoring, you know, that you get at Walmart, the cheap stuff or whatever. You can get energy drink, whatever. 
Anyway, that's good, but uh, make sure you're drinking about a gallon of water a day, and it will flush through your system. Get ready to, you know, go use the bathroom because you will urinate the water out, so it's not going to be held internally. So uh, do that. Make sure you work out, and uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, it's a no-brainer. It's really not hard. It's probably the easiest diet you could ever get on. And again, like I said, once you get to where you want to be to maintain it, then you can start bumping some calories back up or you can start bumping your carbohydrates back up to where you're putting some carbs back in throughout the day. Um, now, I will tell you this. The keto diet, the first four or five days you're going to have what they call the keto headaches. You're going to get a little bit of a headache. You're going to feel a little lethargic maybe. Some people do. Some people don't. I didn't. Uh, you're going to feel weak. You're going to feel like you, you don't have any strength for about four or five days. After a week and a half at the very most, your body stabilizes it. And what it does, it doesn't use carbs for fuel anymore. It's using what's called ketones. Your body will start releasing ketones. And the fat cells, the insulin can't push the carbs in the fat cells. So when that can't happen, your body has to get its fuel from somewhere. And it gets what's called ketones, which is you've got to be in ketogenesis, which is the status where you are going to lose weight. And, and I'm talking, guys, you're going to drop 10 pounds in four days, period. I don't care who you are. If you're in ketogenics and you're in, in, uh, in the zone, you are going to drop the weight fast. Now, it's going to level out a little bit after a week or two, and that's okay. That's normal. But, you know, play with it a little bit. Adjust it up or down a little bit, which is what works for you the best. And uh, once you get that dialed in, you know, it's all gravy. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope this helps. Try it out. Let me know. Go to our, our Facebook page, ultimatefitnessbodybuilding.com, Facebook slash ultimatefitness and uh, leave me some comments check out we, we post stuff every day uh from other people from us as well and uh think you're gonna like it we're trying to make it better we just got it up and going but uh, uh these will get better and uh appreciate all the comments give us a thumbs up thanks a lot